Hey Tubers, it's Pop Boys here. Good morning on this wonderful Tuesday AM. Just uh, going over some of the headlines. Uh, one of them was NASA. Did they just change the zodiac signs? Now, the astrology community has been talking about this for the past few days. Uh, so if you've, you know, gotten a uh, notification from friends wondering why NASA is telling them they're no longer a Scorpio, um, you're probably not the only one. So last week news spread that NASA had decided to update the astrological signs for the first time in 2,000 years, and people were freaking out that 86% uh, of us now have a different star sign. Um... There are a lot of people around the world who take the, their star signs very seriously and horoscopes seriously and, uh, you know, over, um, well, a lot of them think that astrology is very scientific and, uh, okay, so here's a bit of a background uh, first on, on what the fuck just happened. There's an educational page for kids run by NASA called Space Place, and I'm going to uh, include that link in the uh, description. Uh, it discusses how some 3,000 years ago the ancient Babylonians were keen uh, sky watchers and thought that the changing positions of constellations throughout the year could be linked to certain behaviors or events on Earth. Uh, so they invented the zodiac, which is of course the circle of 12 constellations based on the apparent path that the sun takes uh, across an imagined s celestial sphere over the course of the year. Uh, so as Earth orbits the sun, uh, the sun would appear to pass through each of the 12 parts of the zodiac. Since the Babylonians already had a 12-month calendar based on the phases of the moon, each month got a slice of the zodiac all to itself. Uh, but seeing this, or seeing as this happened 3,000 years ago, things were a bit arbitrary, and for whatever reason, the Babylonians left a constellation out of their zodiac, uh, of, of, of Fi Fiocus. Uh, even then, some of the chosen twelve didn't fit n neatly into the, their assigned slice of the pie and slopped over into the next one. So to make a tidy match with uh, their 12-month calendar, the Babylonians ignored the fact that the sun actually moves through 13 constellations and not 12. Interesting, the number 13. Fast forward to now, and NASA and every non-NASA astronomer notes that because of a tiny wobble in Earth's axis, uh, the constellations are no longer in the same position in the sky as they were 3,000 years ago. Now, as Christopher Crockett explains from uh, EarthSky.org, this wobble in the axis is super subtle, so it takes approximately 26,000 years to wobble around once, but the effects can build into something noticeable. On June, uh, or on the June solstice 2,000 years ago, the sun was sitting almost halfway between Gemini and Cancer. On this year's June solstice, the sun will be sitting between Gemini and Taurus. So, in the year 4609, the June solstice point will be will pass uh, out of the constellation Taurus and into the constellation Aries. So, despite uh, massive clarification right at the top of NASA's space place page that astro astrology is not astronomy. Publications such as you know Yahoo News, Cosmo, Marie Claire decided to publish a whole new, uh, lot of uh, new star sign dates and the addition of the 13th uh, zodiac sign and attributes the changes to NASA. Except that NASA doesn't want any part <laughs> in all this mess. So NASA spokesperson Dwayne Brown told Rhea Misria at uh, Gizmodo we didn't change any zodiac signs, we just did the math. The Space Place article was uh, about how astrology is not astronomy, how it was a relic of ancient history, and pointed out the science and math that did come from observations of the night sky. So tell you know everyone you know, tell your friends that they can believe what they want when it comes to horoscopes and astrology, but uh, please don't get NASA involved. It's too busy trying to figure out what's up with Pluto or, uh, you know, why the uh, ISS live feed cams suddenly cut out whenever a UFO shows up. <laughs> so, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and we'll talk to you next time.